Hi, my name is Josh Evilsizer, and today we're going to talk about how to search your email inbox and find what you need. Please keep watching if you've ever struggled to get exactly the email you're looking for when searching your inbox. You type what you're looking for, you hit the enter button, and the results are overwhelming. Hundreds of emails when you just need one. The results are never just the one or the few related emails that you need. You're here because you know there's got to be a better way. Way to narrow your inbox searches to find only what you need. And you're right, there is a better way. Follow me. <clears throat> the big idea here is that keywords and search operators are the two things necessary to search your inbox. Those are the words we're going to use today. The keywords you choose when you search your inbox are important. The search operators that you use when you search your inbox are just as important. A good combination of smart keywords and operators provides the best results. Bear in mind, there are no right combinations, only good and bad ones. Bad keyword operator combos provide very wide results. Good keyword operator combos provide very narrow results. Good keyword operator combos take you from unlimited results to a single targeted result. This is exactly what you want when you search your inbox, one email. A well-targeted search gives you a single email result. It's like a fishing trawler versus a fishing pole. Very wide search is gonna give you a lot of results, some that you necessarily do not want or need, like this <laughs> trawler hauling in just tons and tons of fish versus a very narrow search result or search query that's gonna give you a very narrow result, that single email that you're looking for. Unlimited, targeted, that's the difference. I'm in, Josh. <laughs> How do I go from wide to narrow searches or from unlimited to targeted single email search results? It all starts with the search bar, of course. So here we go. This is the search bar, and we're going to start with a keyword search. I would like to let you know that this is just a generic search bar, uh, and the principles are generally the same across all email providers, Gmail, Outlook, uh, Yahoo, etc. All right, with that said, here we go. So we're going to search the word Bob. Our results are going to be big. <laughs> this circle represents all of the results that we receive when we search the word Bob. All right, so I'm going to hit the enter button and we're going to see what happens. Yes, our, our results are unlimited because we've searched a very wide keyword search term. Every email with the word Bob, anywhere in the email, to any Bob. So any email to any Bob in the two lines. So if Bob's in the two line, any email with a Bob in the two line, that result is in this circle right here. From any Bob, so any email from a guy named Bob in this circle right here. Any email discussing any Bob. You may know how many Bobs. Well, they're all uh, they're all in this circle right here. This also includes, uh, so anywhere, Bob, anywhere in the email. What does that mean? Body of the email, subject line of the email, or in, in any attached files. So any emails with a spreadsheet attached with the word Bob in the spreadsheet. All those results are right here in this circle. This is why this is a very wide search term and your results are unlimited. All right, so this is where we just pause for a minute and go, okay, we can do better. How can we limit our results here? What I want you to do is to imagine a filled stadium. So 25,000 people in Wembley Stadium and you're on stage and you've got the microphone. You yell, hey, Bob, 25,000 people, you're gonna get how many, how many people are gonna respond? How many would answer? Many, right? You're going to have a lot of Bobs in that stadium. So now I want you to imagine yelling, Hey, Bob Davalina. <clears throat> How many would answer this time? Well, if he's there, just one, right? So we've gone from a very wide search to a very targeted search um, by limiting it to a specific person. And that's our goal is to get specific. So Bob Davalina at bob.com so bob.d at bob.com this is a better keyword search and here's what happens when we hit the return key 
our circle has gotten smaller. We have limited our results to just this email address. How have we done that? We've limited it to emails to a specific Bob, from a specific Bob, or discussing a specific Bob. So we went from any to specific. Again, uh, this specific Bob could also be in the body, subject, or any attachments. All right, this is where we pause again and go, okay, the circle's still pretty big. I'd like, I'd like to get that targeted single email result so I don't have to comb through still perhaps hundreds or thousands of emails to find what I'm looking for. So how do we further limit our results? Using a search operator. So we've been using a keyword search. Now we're going to add a search operator. And this is what it looks like. Two colon and then Bob dot D at bob.com. So we just put the word to and a colon in front of the email address. And by the way, this is minor, but there's no spaces needed. So to colon and then the email address. All right, we hit the enter key and what happens? We have further limited our results. Our circle has gotten smaller. We limited this search limited emails to a specific Bob. So only emails sent to a specific Bob. Still from anyone though, all right? So to a specific Bob from anyone. That's our results in the circle here. Okay, this is when we pause and we go, all right, well, how do we restrict our results? How can we make this circle even smaller? Well, if one operator got us closer, what might two operators do? All right, so let's find out. So we add from colon me. There's only one me, right? So there we go. And we hit the enter button, circle's gotten smaller. All right, what did we do? We restricted our results to emails that were that are to Bob Dabalina from me. The circle got smaller, we're doing better. All right, <clears throat> pause. How can we go from net to pull? We're still scooping up fish, right? That circle still got plenty of fish in it. We wanna go from net to that jet single pole catching the single fish. How do we do that? Well, as I said, we're still scooping up emails and we wanna hook just the right one. A unique keyword is gonna get us there. So this is where we just stop and think to ourselves, what word should we use? In this case, it's gonna be the word zilch. How does this word help us, Josh? That's a good question. It is a unique and obscure word, which means there's a low likelihood of recurrence. So it's not gonna happen across a lot of emails. Maybe just one, all right? Um, it happens to be related to a monkeys and Dell the Funky Homo Sapiens song. Just FYI, uh, that's, why this, that's why this stuff is related. <clears throat> all right, let's go fish, you ready? So we're about to hit, now is when we hit the enter key. <clears throat> there we go. Our results are that single, targeted email that we talked about. This targets one specific email to Bob Dabalina from me discussing zilch. And of course, uh, the word zilch, if it occurs in the body, subject, or any attachments. All right, let's pause for a second and talk about why this worked. What is the likelihood that there's more than one email from me to Bob Dabalina discussing this obscure song about zero, right? And now you're asking, well, Josh, why not just search zilch? And you have a, you would have a point. <laughs> you would have a very good point. Um, that would not have allowed me, however, to show you here uh, how to use the two other operators. But yeah, if you can come up with that unicorn term that's probably not in any other emails, that's the shortest route to done. Um, in any event, <clears throat> This search right here, this smart keyword operator combo, this is what hit the bullseye. In summary, your brain is the best search tool. Pause and think before hitting the enter key. Using smart keyword and search operator combinations gets you to done faster. In this example, we used to and from search operators and one keyword, zilch. We first limited our results to emails to Bob Dabalina. Then we restricted our results to emails from me to Bob Dabalina. 
Finally, we targeted a specific email between me and Bob discussing zilch. Remember, there are no right combinations, just good and bad ones. The difference between the two is pausing to think. Think about what search operators, what keywords, when combined, will take you from unlimited to targeted results. All right, want more? Uh, I only covered two search operators in this video. In the description below is a link to a list of over 30 search operators. Finally, uh, a link to video 66 will eventually reside down below, which will explain how to use the most powerful operators. If this was helpful, please like, please subscribe, and please share it with somebody else that might be able to put it to good use. And also, please don't forget, uh, you can get at me and a copy of these slides in the description down below. And if you leave questions, as always, I will leave answers. Thank you and have a great day.